What's going on, man? As a party people, Coach Anderson here, and I'm excited for this one because I know how much of a headache percent word problems can be. So today, we're gonna be doing two practice problems. We're gonna be doing one here where we're talking about a discount, and then right over here where we're talking about a tax. So feel free to go ahead, pause the video, give it a shot, but let's go ahead and ace the ASVAB here. All right, so first things first, as always, my party people, what's the question? Don't read the whole problem. Read the straight up question sentence. And what we see here is that what is the final price of the laptop after the discount is applied? Okay, so what I'm looking for is final price after discount. All right, so let's go ahead and knock that out. We always write down some way, shape, or form of what we're looking for so we can stay grounded. Because once we do the calculation, it's very important to understand what those numbers are so that way we don't get trapped into thinking, oh, I got this number over here. Oh, I see all the answer choices. Oh, that's the answer. Nah, we want to know that what we're calculating is going to give us the right answer or when we know that we're actually there. Watch this. This is how I know some of us are going to get confused but this is a very fixable thing. Let's go ahead and get to it. So first things first now, let's read through the information. A local electronics store is having a clearance sale on laptops. A high performance laptop that normally sells for 1200 is being offered at a 15% discount. What's that final price? All right, so let's go ahead and set up our percentage formula here. Our percentage formula is going to be quite simply the percent multiplied by the original value equals the result. And the only twist, the main idea behind this, and please write this down, is that the percent you apply is the result that you get. So again, if you are going to plug in 15% right here, what does that 15% represent? The discount, right? Okay, so then what is the result going to represent if we put 15%? It's going to represent the discount, the amount of the discount. So listen to that again. If I were to plug in 15% right here, that means I'm applying the discount. I am learning what that discount is because if I apply the percent of the discount, the result is the dollar amount of the discount. So once we do this, again, this is the mistake that a lot of people make. I'll plug in 15% of the $1,200. Here's what's gonna happen. Most of us are gonna go ahead and say, okay, convert that to a decimal. Nice and easy, move that decimal place over two times. Multiply that by 1,200. And this is where the mistake happens. We'll go ahead and calculate, right? 1,200 times 0 0.15. And I'm excited because I'm hoping that there's going to be at least 10 people here that are going to have this light bulb moment. So when we calculate 0 times 5, 0 times 5, 2 times 5, carry the 1, 1 times 5 plus 6. Then we move on over here to the next digit. So we'll have 1 times 0, 1 times 0, 2 times 1, and 1 times 1. All right, add that back up. All right, sweet. And then lastly, we move the decimal place back. And there it is, two times, and we get $180. A lot of folks will get really excited that they've calculated the 15%. They got 180. They'll look at A, but A is actually going to be wrong. Why? It's because about what does that $180 represent? What does it represent? It represents the amount of the discount. We plugged in 15%, which is the percentage of the discount. So that means that the 180 that we received as the result, that is the amount of the discount. Was that what we were looking for again? No, we are looking for the final price after the discount. So what we need to do, the only thing we need to do my party people is this. We need to take that 180 and subtract it from the 1200. Here's our uh, original price. We'll subtract the 180. So this is the discount. Move myself out of the way. I know I'm in the way. So there it is. When we subtract zero minus zero, zero minus eight can't do that. So borrow a one. 
10 minus 8 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then you have the 1 right there. So this right here is our final price. After we apply the discount, we now have $1,020, and that's why B is actually the correct answer. So how do you feel so far? That's problem one out of two. Again, I got this next problem here for taxes, but that's how it works. You have to make sure that the percent you apply is the result that you get. And so my party people, if you're looking forward to understanding math like this, we have a proportions class coming up on Monday. So we have a proportions class for free on Monday and then part of my program on Tuesday. And I want you to join. If you're not signed up already, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video and go ahead and sign up for my free class. You'll also get access to my free practice test with video solutions. That way you can learn from every step. And on top of that, my phone number is included. So once you are done registering for the free practice test, I want you to text me. I'm Coach Anderson. Introduce yourself and let me know how things have been going for you so far with the ASVAB because I have a ton of free materials, but if you're curious about raising your score the right way, I have more for you. So with that said, here is number two, same deal. Go to the question, what is the total amount Sarah will pay, including the tax? Okay, sounds good. So what do we see? We see that Sarah is shopping for furniture over here, and Sarah says that she found a sofa at $8.99, coffee table at 275 and we see that we are going to be paying a sales tax of 7.5% across the board. Okay, let's find out that total. First, we're gonna find out the total before the tax, then we'll find out how much the tax is, add it together, and we're good. So here we go, my party people, let's go ahead and calculate here. So we'll do 899 plus the 275, Adding those together, nine plus five gives us 14. Then that's gonna be 17. And then that's gonna be 11. So we have $1,174 for that right there. But again, that's before we apply the tax. So don't get it twisted. Do not get confused. The answer is not gonna be A. Next up, we're gonna figure out what that tax is going to be, the amount of the tax. So once we do that, 7.5% of the 1,174. What's that going to be? Well, let's start off by moving that decimal place over twice. So once we do that, we'll get one, two. So 0 0.075 multiplied by 1174. And so once we're here, what we can do is figure out what that is very quickly. So here, 1174 multiplied by 0 0.75, 0 0.075, don't make that mistake. <laughs> Once we're here, let's go. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 2 is 37. 1 times 5 is 5, carry the 3 is 8, and then 1 times 5 is 5. Then we'll go to the next line, 4 times 7, that's going to be 28, carry the 2. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 2 is 51. Then we have 1 times 7 is 7, plus the 5 is 12. And then 1 times 7 is 7, carry the 1 is 8. Now that we have that going on, my party people, we have 0, 15, 10, 8, 8. Two, three decimal places over, 1, 2, 3. And so that'll be $88 and five cents in tax. Now that we're here, we're good to go. That's the amount of the tax. Add that back in with the uh, final price that we had before tax. So that'll be 1174. And so our final price ends in five cents. Eight plus four is 12. Eight plus seven is 15. Carry the one is 16. That's two and that's one. So $1,262 and five cents, and that'll make the correct answer here. Answer choice D. And there it is, my party people. We'll see you in the next video. Like and comment if this helped. Cheers. Thanks for watching my ASVAB party people, but do yourself a quick favor. If you like these videos, well then why not just join me for a free class once a week? Again, it's free for two hours so I can help you raise your confidence, get that score where you want it to be, so you can enlist in the job you deserve. 
my party people. I'm Coach Anderson. Sign up, show up, and let's taste the ASVAB.